Alright, so welcome back. So we're continuing to talk about Enums, and we're going to show you some of the really powerful new features uh, that Swift has done with Enums. I think in the past, people don't necessarily use a lot of Enums. I love them. I use them all the time. But I think with a lot of these new features, I'm going to get a lot of converts that start using Enums with me. So go ahead and open up Xcode again, and we should be ready for associated values uh, and functions. So we're going to make a new uh, Enum. It's going to be called Homework. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple cases. I'm going to make a case for uh, no homework. So, you know, you've got no homework to do. You don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, I'm going to make a case for in progress. Uh, and I'm going to make a case for done. So this is what a typical enum would look like. I've chosen to use the structure where I've defined the cases over here. Um, and no homework and done are pretty clear. But if it's in progress, you may actually want to say, like, how far along they are in the progress. So, for example, you might want to say, um, how many problems have they done out of how many? And you can actually do this with enums now, which is crazy, right? So you can associate a value uh, with in progress. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So what I can do if I create a variable, I'll just call it my homework status, uh, and I can make it be equal to homework uh, dot no homework, just like we did before. But if I wanted to, I could also make it be in progress. Uh, and in progress, I could say things like I've done two uh, out of the 10 problems. Uh, one problem here is we don't really get much of a description uh, to the side. It just says a new value of what's going on. And there are a number of ways you can deal with that problem. Uh, but what, we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to create a function uh, on the enum. And so we're going to call it simple description. And this function is going to receive no values, uh, but it returns a string. Um, so you can see that all of a sudden enums have kind of like the power that classes had. So used to only classes were like important, uh, but now enums have a lot of these same powers in that they can do stuff uh, just like classes can do. Structs, by the way, also have a lot more power in uh, Swift, but I'm not going to go into covering them. Uh, what I'm going to choose to do on simple description is I'm just going to make a switch statement in here. Uh, so I'm going to switch based on self, uh, so the enum itself. And then the case might be no homework. Uh, and if it's no homework, we want to print out, uh, or sorry, return a string uh, that says no homework. Looks like I forgot my uh, colon again, so it was yelling at me there. Uh, and then what I want to do next is I want to return a case uh, for uh, in progress. Uh, and if I'm in progress, I'm going to have these two variables, right? So these two associated values, how do I deal with that? It turns out that the way you do it is you say let num complete is just what I'll choose to call it. And then I'll say let total to do. And so this uh, is very similar to uh, optional binding. I guess it is optional binding. And that we're saying let uh, this time inside a switch statement. Uh, one way to do it is like this. You can say let here and you can say let here. You could also put let once in front of it. Uh, e either way is fine with me. Um, and then just like with optional binding that we looked at before, I've now got access to that variable uh, inside of this block of code. So I'm just going to say in progress, finished, uh, num complete, out of total to do uh, so far. I kind of broke that up on, on two lines in a weird way, but what you're going to do. Um, and so you can see that that's kind of the interesting one. Uh, and then if you're done, uh, we'll just put done uh, at the bottom. So this uh, optional binding with switch statements is new, uh, and then this associated values is new, uh, and then this being able to call functions on an enum uh, is also new. So now for my in progress, uh, I can say simple description. Uh, if I wanted to do another one, uh, I could just make a copy of that, uh, bring it down, uh, and change the value to 8. So I can see num finished is 2 out of 10 so far, 8 out of 10 so far. Uh, also, since in the second case I know that this is of homework, I could have actually just said in progress and that would have been fine. If I wanted to do another one, what I could do is I could say dot done, uh, and so that's another type of status that I could do, uh, and then I could print out a simple description on him as well. Alright, that's what we've got for enums. Uh, come back next time, we'll learn about some more fun stuff. See you then.